Liu, liu, vale, coca, o cohola, lele, mau, kama, kai, o kapa, balai, e como, e como, a kuho, i au, ma, loco, i na, kapu, nui, o vaho, nei, la, e, he anu, e, he anu, e, e, ko, e, ko, e, vale, no, a, e, Cultural trauma is a loss of identity and meaning that impacts group consciousness. This type of trauma results in the loss of language, lifestyle, and values, which is often fundamental and irreversible. Since the 1700s, Hawaii has experienced major cultural shifts that have left the well-being of modern Hawaiians in jeopardy. When you look at an outside um, dominant culture coming in and subjecting an island culture, our culture, to their ways and, and their values. What happened to us was that our values were devalued. You know? um, people were made fun of when we talked to the rocks, when we went out to the forest and prayed to our deities. When you take away our language, when we t you take away our spirituality, that is profound. O na mne ahuna no e au, o na mne le e, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai e. Made up of a stone surrounding wall with platforms and terraces, heiau were temples that served as sacred places of worship. Ancient Hawaiians made offerings and prayers to aumakua, personal gods or family gods. At some heiau, offerings were made to ensure rain, at others for good fishing or good harvest. Here at Keaiva in Aiea, the herbal medicinal expert or the kahuna la'au lapa'au use plants gathered from the local forest to treat disease and heal illness. Nowadays, the usage of heiau is in decline. It is very important for modern day Hawaiian to understand what a heiau is, to understand its function, uh, to understand uh, the protocols associated with that because it makes them better knowledgeable about who they are as Hawaiian. Yeah, although these are things that are from the past, it has relevancy today. Today, Hawaiians are socioeconomically disadvantaged, suffer from disparate health conditions, and are disproportionately represented in prisons. How can social work be a part of the solution? We need to be culturally competent. Cultural competency says, I as a healthcare professional need to understand other cultures. I need to understand um, and know some of the cultural practices and values. Culture is the glue that holds groups of people together. Many of our wines are what we call in social work stuck with the problems, but the remedies are unavailable now. In the ancient days, the remedies were available. It's the culture. Okay? So that's why it's important that in social work, we expose our social work students that there are these remedies that are available. To modern day Hawaiians, they don't know, you need to educate them, you need to demonstrate, 
share that information with them, refer them to the appropriate resources and stuff like that. As social workers, we must advocate for the utilization of professional practice skills, which include a cultural historical trauma lens. Only through the resiliency and strengths inherent in indigenous ways of knowing, woven together with the acknowledgement of cultural historical trauma, can we ensure pathways to growth. <laughs>